Hello again, everyone. It's Vince Farr from TradingWinds.com, and this is our nightly update for May the 2nd, 2024. Let's take a quick look how the markets finished off here. We did have an update, uh, no question. The Dow up almost 300 points here. Um, now, nothing's really changed. It's been more or less a consolidation back towards that 20 throughout here. We've made several attempts to get back above so far have been unable to do so. So that is the key story here so far. The S&P 500 up 45 points, a healthy update. But again, same as the Dow, remains below the 20. The NASDAQ up 219 points. Same exact looking chart, still not above the 20. The Russell up 36 points. This one did close back above. Now, is this a buy signal I would take? No, absolutely not. Number one. We're looking for it to clear a prior high. We don't have that. Or a retest of the 20. We don't have that. So, and, and on top of all that, we have mixed uh, mixed uh, higher time frames. The weekly is red. The monthly is green. So, not a trade we'd be interested in right now. So, we, we sit in the exact same spot where we were, uh, you know, or have been for the last couple of weeks. Now, when you look at crude oil, and it continues to pull back. Now, we have certainly cleared that prior low. Where will we find some support here? I mean, there is certainly some support. We're, we're just at the area that uh, on the daily chart is the strongest. Let's go a little further out and have a look here on the weekly. There we go. I mean, it's pretty consistent throughout, right? So uh, we may get a bit more downside, but we certainly have a ton of support down here. If we look at gold, um, a very quiet day for gold, actually. I mean, we, we bounced around a little, but look at where we closed. Basically where we were yesterday, not far from where we were the day before. Gold up one point today. Bond yields mostly lower. The dollar slightly lower here, back below the 20, sitting at 105.35. So... Where are we now? What to look forward to? Well, it is aftermarket close uh, from what I've seen. Apple earnings not out yet. Let's have a look. No, there's nothing there. Uh, after hours train still completely flat. Uh, again, we have a buy signal here on the daily chart. Not one I'd be interested in. Flat 20. Uh, haven't taken out now in a high. Haven't uh, retested it. We have mixed time frames. We have earnings out any minute now. So, you know. We got to wait for this one. But bottom line is the key thing with the Apple chart is that 165 level. If earnings disappoint, who knows? We may break below that tomorrow. And we may gap uh, through there. Who knows? Uh, if everyone likes what they hear, well, who knows? We may find ourselves back up here. And then, you know, we start looking at this Apple chart a little differently. But uh, for now, that 165 level is the key absolutely also a reminder the full jobs report out tomorrow morning 8 30 a.m eastern um and uh so again the potential exists for uh more volatility here into the end of the week next week i think things will be much more uh what's the word i'm looking for a little calmer, not necessarily from a movement standpoint. I think we could probably, get, you know, see this market move nicely, but um, uh, less volatility, I would, I would think, in into next week once all of these announcements are out of the way, and there really isn't a whole lot from an economic data point uh, standpoint. So um, let's look forward to Apple uh, anytime now. We're waiting. Keep uh, an eye on those futures tonight and also the, uh, the jobs report uh, tomorrow.